Okay, here we go. I'm doing a hydraulic oil change on my Ford 2000. 1972 Ford 2000. Been out and did a little bit of bush hogging today. Tried to warm everything up. And I brought it back up here to my tractor barn to change out the hydraulic oil. And uh, <clears throat> that thing sits a little lower than I thought it did, so I had to improvise and uh, get it raised up a little bit. But it's working. Now, where you add it is right there where that paper towel stuff down that hole. And where you drain it is right down here. Yeah, there's a drain plug there. And uh, be ready. That's a five gallon bucket. And it's just about full. It's just about stopped draining though. But I've had the truck tractor six years and never done this. Now this was the plug come out. I should have got a picture prior to it. But that thing was covered with uh, sludge and probably metal. I mean, like I said, the tractor is a 1972 model. But uh, this year I've had to put some money into my tractor, clutch, water pump, tune up. Uh, had to replace a, a hydraulic cylinder, a hydraulic line fitting on the other side of the tractor where it actually comes up from here and goes into the pump or vice versa. And uh, so I knew I'd lost some uh, hydraulic oil. So I was talking to my tractor buddy, Tim Cobb, and he said, well, if I was you, I'd just go ahead and change it. So here we are, we're changing it. Uh, went up there to the tractor supply and got the uh, Ultra Utility Tractor Fluid. Performs obsolete 303 fluids. Uh, I had used some travelers, but they didn't carry that anymore. They got this stuff. And it says, uh, specially formulated to protect older tractors and hydraulic equipment. So that's what we're gonna be using. So anyhow, old Blue here, I think she won't mind what we put in there. Well, we put something in there. And yes, folks, I'm down on the ground and I do not move good on the ground anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, is that, that right there, I had to replace that this year. That was not fun. That was not fun. But what do you expect? 50 year old tractor's gonna have some issues. So right now, it's uh, percolating pretty good. Oh, and by the way, I had a uh, power steering leak. It was leaking around that seal right there. Okay, let me show you what I used to fix that. I think it's still in my barn. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, here it is. Now that stuff's as thick as uh, molasses on a cold winter day. But it sealed it up. Sealed it up. Renew rack and pinion seals. Controls slack seals and hard and tight spot steering. So there you have it. That stuff worked. So anyway, this is what's going on right at the moment. Now the fun part is to get that bucket out of there without spilling it all over the ground. So anyhow, we are anticipating uh, finishing off that goldenrod field down there in the next week or two. I made two rounds around it today just to kind of clean it up so I could see what's going on. The bees just about used it all up. Bees looking good this year. I need to put a video up of my uh, entrance reducers that I've put on, anticipating yellow jackets caused me a lot of trouble again this year. Already seen yellow jackets, so. Anyway, well, I gotta get back to this. I'm burning daylight, as the old timers say. You bank family homestead, working on the old Ford 2000. I like my tractor. I don't wanna say love it, but I like it a whole lot. We're still hanging in there. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.